Okay, hello guys and welcome. Maybe I will finally rediscover what is going on outside my social bubble because it seems that I absolutely got lost in the meantime. Please don't forget to go support the channel, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. It's important for support. Link in the description box below if you wish to support this, this channel as well. Uh, I just want to remind you... Share, please. Share. And yes, yeah, thank Vishay Scriptic interview, privacy case, Frin Saruka and the art of evasion. Okay, as we have discovered now on 99th of World Channel, there should be a the release of the video that has the 14 minutes or something, which I am skeptical about, but whatever. Uh, and now even this channel refers to what's going on, because thank Vishay is currently under WeTV. Uh, and it's his like departure from um, Idol Factory, where the whole situation with Freen probably escalated to the point where he decided that it, leaving the company is a better option. My theory. Uh, so, so now he is being promoted by VTV, and his supposed uh, future project should be for the next year. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it seems that he somehow expressed his thoughts and opinions on the case with the video that was released in July this year and uh, people didn't like it because he basically stated something like we are now discussing the case only and basically this is how our interaction is because now we are focused on work which I didn't get and don't get still because Asian actors usually promote the idea of that love, work is more important than love and people are cheering on them. So when Seng says exactly this, he's being discussed and criticized and hated. Let's forget about those idiotic mushroom situation instead of calling him by his name, because that person has a name, you know, just saying. Uh, and just showcasing how some yeah, some children are actually children, so what should we expect from them? Uh, and aside from that, and aside from the fact that people are still mad about the situation with Freen and him, and they still feel like not enough words were said and explained about the situation, so... This is something in addition to this whole showcase. I, I, I would personally believe that he Loki stated that they have n done nothing much since then, which is expectable because it all got public. And they are basically not, not even maybe dating currently or they are very toned down in case of their activities together in private. And people should be maybe happy about this and instead they got angry about this. Um, yeah, where is the truth? We don't know, but still, let's check out what got public at least. Saying wish I kept it interview private case, Free Saroka and the art of evasion. I'm not sure this is art, this is like you have to do this because your management told you do, to do so. But let's check out the news. Hey guys, welcome back to BL World Drama, you are got to source for the juiciest scandals in the world of BL and GLs. From trending hashtags to sizzling social media drama, I've got it all. Join me as I dive deep into the lives of your favorite stars with exclusive updates, secrets and interviews that will keep you hooked. Subscribe now, ring the bell and let's dive into the glitz, the glam and the scandalous world of BL and GLs. So let's get right into it. So today, we TV Thailand was showing all their programs that are going to like come out in 2024. And as you know, like Seng was part of the lineup. I did a video about it, I think, either a week ago or a few days ago, whereby people were leaving like very nasty comments under his Twitter post about him being part of the lineup that we TV had to close off that comment section. So. I thought maybe it would impact his like attendance in the lineup but unfortunately unfortunately or fortunately it didn't happen whichever way you would like to see it it did it didn't happen he was still part of the lineup he is going to have a show a BL show with 
best if you don't know best who best is best is like a bl actor who did a show called check out with chahab i'm still waiting for that chahab who has me l shows i'm crossing my fingers it might probably happen next year but we know chahab is back to his like normal nine to five he is uh i think a uh air hostess so he is traveling and working so let's wait and see if he will back he will be back today like the acting industry check out has a movie and a series out i didn't like both so yeah you can just go and check it out if you haven't checked it if you haven't seen it so what did happen is that Seng did a press like conference with some interviewers and they did ask him like a couple of questions and some of the questions like were fast about like how he felt about his invasion of privacy he said it it did affect like their mental health and right now they are pretty grateful that they have work so they have been focusing mostly on work and so it has it it has helped them on how to handle like their mental state he they he they also asked about his like comment section and how he feels when he reads like all those negative comment section and he did say he feels pretty bad because like sometimes he doesn't believe like those statements are made by human beings and they're made towards another human being and he says that he would actually not care a lot if the statements were only meant for him but they are now meant for people around him his friends his family and he feels like he now has to take control and he has like talked to lawyers and they will be pressing charges on people who like put negative comments under his posts so like we know uh, okay a little bit of clarification it should be something like a gossip about him that is not based on the reality on truth otherwise i mean people are free to speak because we have here freedom of informations most of the times and freedom of expression of yourself most of the times uh if it is not offending if it is not based on reality if it is based on reality and if it is not offending then it should be fine because they have the right to speak like people should be able to speak up about things they don't like and express that to the artists on the other on the other side if you are constantly writing him bad messages that uh, are based on something false false accusations if you are trying to gossip about him and ruin his career then you should be worried because you are not allowed to do that you know um if you are uh, harassing him, uh, stalking him, things like that, no. If you are just expressing your opinion um, and you are expressing that you are angry at him, that's fine. It's not fine to uh, do something that you wouldn't do to your classmate or your friends or your colleagues or your parents. It's not. So, something like this, just to, just to put it on the right train of thoughts because like of course you are uh, you are allowed to express yourself but in a polite manner please i am always confident that i still want to develop myself in the way that i love my, my work as an art extra because uh, but because our evidence is insufficient and they are for foreigners so we are stuck with uh, international law so i consult a lawyer and the police about international law for finding them people have been coming after his team especially someone called i think sugars whereby they are accusing sugars as the woman in the video and they are accusing that sugars is his alleged sugar mommy which i don't know because i haven't seen any definite proof that puts them in a compromising situation so it's me thinking that just either shippers or again are you idiots check out the case of saying the product um, the part of production team of uh, idol factory and how someone falsely accused him of something very similar fact is like even if it was the truth what is it to you solo stands just want someone to take like the blame so until there is definite proof 
that she is the person in the video or there is another video or picture of them in a compromising situation then to me i won't like believe that so he will be taking legal actions and then he was asked about his relationship with friend whereby he beat around the bush and he didn't clearly say what the relationship was he just said that like they are now just focused on their work and like that they are just focusing on their work that's all and then he was asked if like did this thing like affect their relationship in any way and he said again like they were focusing on work and they only talk about the case like in all this like whole like i think they asked around like 20 something questions but none of them like clearly saying spoke clearly so did, did you really expect something like this from him i didn't so here i am if you didn't want to answer the questions in the first place okay guys wait a second please i need uh to, to attend to something i will be right away back okay sorry guys that was a little bit uh, longer than i expected let's continue why continue like putting these reporters like go in a merry-go-round go round and round and round when you are clearly not saying like you're not clearly giving answers and again these reporters if you are going to ask the same question again and again and again why not just tell the person to say yes or no choose yes or no if you know like they're not going to give you a precise answer a precise clear answer why not ask them to just say yes or no so like it was like a cat and mouse game between the reporters and saying and it was actually the most unprofessional thing that i've read because i have tried to find a video whereby like it's like translated word for word as he speaks and the reporter speaks but unfortunately no one has done it because like most people even in time most fans are frustrated because mm -hmm. they couldn't like get like the full context of what he was saying mm. the only thing he was saying is like he was talking about his work and their work his mm -hmm. and friends work mm -hmm. and how like he should be given an opportunity to like work and show his talent and show how good of an actor he is and all that and how he's big uh, the, 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 the normal standard way how actors communicate especially if they change his companies like there is nothing surprising about this the, he would do this even if the free situation didn't happen he would do it he did it when the free situation did happen he would do it no matter what situation would happen this is exactly what he was told to speak about and that is exactly what he is speaking about it has nothing to do with what he wants to say it has nothing to do with what he can say it has much to do about you know like yeah it, no it, it has much to do with what he is allowed to say but it has nothing to do with what he wants to say or what he, he is he is aware of the situation he is aware of the hatred that is put his way don't worry about this he's absolutely like he has no questions about it uh, he knows that the whole situation is uh, not in their favor right now, uh, which is, I'm not speculating here if it is like uh, justifiable or not justifiable. Um, but there are things, there are boundaries he cannot overstep and that is what he's doing. And he would, again, like, it is not that he would say something else if the friend situation didn't happen. He would do exactly the same as he's doing now. He is prevented and prohibited from doing anything else. So I wouldn't have taken it against him what he did. Because that is exactly like, if you have questions, you can be guaranteed that they are never going to answer you. And definitely not directly. I am even... I even I'm I'm a little bit like in Wonderland for how much they refer to this situation. It's 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 really surprising for me. I would expect that they are gonna ignore it completely, maybe, or state something once and they never refer to that. But they are kind of willing to sometimes answer some questions, which is more than I expected, especially if the case is not closed officially yet. 
See. But maybe the case is not gonna be well, officially closed like five years. So, you know. And how he's like getting opportunities and how he's working hard and all this. He also spoke about, he was also asked if the reason he left like Idol Factory was because of his relationship and with friend. And we know like there were those rumors going around that he had mm -hmm. to leave Idol Factory because of his relationship with friend. But mm -hmm. he clearly says that his manager and like had talked to WeTV and like he found mm -hmm. better opportunities at WeTV. Ah, uh, the standard blah blah blah. I don't know if it is that. I am not sure if dating Finn was such a big problem for Idol Factory. I don't know if that was the reason why he left. It's absolutely a possibility that is up though. And it's even more probable for me at this point that uh, he decided to leave on his own because of his relationship in comparison to uh, Idol Factory kicking him out because of his relationship with me. And as well, they are staying on very friendly grounds. So I would say that it, it, it was his decision based on one of the reasons would be that he started to date Freen. Maybe, maybe. And... Um, I, I, the thing about WeTV offering him more than Idol Factory, I somehow can't trust and no, I wouldn't believe so, but this is the standard uh, soup, the standard nonsense that uh, creators are gonna give you if they change codes, if they change uh, companies they are under. So it's expectable, it's nothing surprising really, it's, I'm not sure how much it is, you know, based on uh, truth and reality, but... I, I, I wouldn't rely specifically on this piece of information. I don't think, I think, I, I would personally not fear to say that it is nonsense. Uh, but I am not like, you know, probably in his situation was, uh, changing companies was better option than remaining under Idol Factory. Uh, I would say personally, like my personal opinion would be if they made a campaign out of it, if they made it, uh, if they uh, framed it properly, it would be maybe better for them to remain under the same company and make it a big uh, survival, big uh, story type of content. Maybe first connecting them together for some hetero series in the future and showing the, showcasing their love and whatnot. Maybe they are as well counting on them breaking up, so... That would be in their disadvantage to do it like this. I don't. I don't know. Like there are really pros and cons to this. Uh, maybe him changing companies is really a better option now. As well, probably maybe if she didn't gain the success she did, she would be the one who left Idol Factory instead of Seng because he was already successfully working there. But because of she gained way more popularity than him, he was the one who decided to leave that company. But I don't know. This, this is like just plain speculations now. Okay. That's why he left. He left like Idol Factory to go to WTV and it had nothing to do with his relationship with friend. Mm. So, in that, he was very clear on, but he just couldn't say the clear nature of his relationship with friend. No, he will not and do here that. I am thinking because now he's getting all the hits again. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking myself, why does saying keep on putting himself in this position like he always puts himself as the punch bag mm -hmm. and again i did ask like, he should have just said he leaves it all to the authorities and told reporters not to ask about personal stuff to protect the people he claims he care about but there he is giving answers that doesn't make sense just empty words he's using this awful incident for publicity but maybe he is not clever enough to do so to tell them not to ask the I don't know. I don't know. But I would, I would, I would expect this is not what does directly saying. This is what the, his management does. So what is doing his management for him again? And this is now by this point, this is really like a kick situation worth of kicking, because no, no, nothing was done for him in, when he was un, under Idol Factory, and nothing is done doing being done for him now when he is under the BTV. What am I supposed to think about this? Like, you know, like now I'm angry and I'm looking at the management team of artists, generally speaking. If you, if you can't do anything for your artists, 
anything proper, anything like big, if something like this happens, what you are there for? Or if you are not managing so much workload, then let's split the job. He is earning enough money to do so and hire two people, one of them getting rid of taking care of these type of situations and one of them taking care of him on a daily basis something normal you know like really this is worth it in case of freelancing absolutely yes in case of what happens to build the same thing in case of what happened to bible probably with him as well the same thing like if you if your proper management if your regular management can make it hire another additional person to take care of this specific aspect of your life i guess they would be so expensive that it, and they would earn so money so much money it would be worth it but certain people are actually avid about learning how to cope with these situations they are experts after all you see it in the comment and they feel like they are entitled to give advices so why not just hire a specific person to take care of this specific situation because that situation is very specific it does not happen always many people are very <sighs> I don't want to say clever, they are more like um, aware of the, the, the seriousness of the situation and they try to cut their love life out of their life until they reach the point where they say, okay, I am finally done with this industry, let's move on. But not everyone can do that and not everyone has the luck to be able to do that. So in case that has something like this happens, hire additional people to help you with the situation. It's worth it, really like idol factory today morning to like release an official statement mm -hmm. about like the closure of the case because as we know friend did speak idol factory did release something today wait a second uh, uh maybe i understood it wrong but let's check out why not uh wait a second uh idol factory uh, by the way some cuteness about Freen and becky if you didn't see that this is really Cute, Sam. You see, I needed to show it to someone. Someone, thank you for your kind understanding. So this is released scheduled seven hours ago. This is released September twenty seventh. This is yesterday's release. What? What was released? Wait a second. So one Stop. more time. Like he always puts himself as the punch bag. And again, I did ask like Idol Factory today morning to like really and as well some people that uh, who do have these tendencies to uh, post themselves as the victims and the punch bags and and uh, letting the shit flow their way you know sometimes it's just in the nature of the personality and no one can actually stop them is an official statement about like the closure of the case because as we know friend did speak about it during the weekend mm -hmm. I haven't done that video because I was waiting for an official statement from idol factory mm -hmm. but if they are not going to release it i will have to post like my video with what friends said and i didn't okay. want to do that i just wanted like an opportunity to get like an official statement mm -hmm. with, from them and then also like the statement that friend made and the statements that they have made in the past but okay. now i think i will just do the video again okay so as we know okay, the first time he made a statement and said that they had no evidence enough evidence and the stalkers were international and they couldn't like lodge arrest them and all that people went mayhem on him like mm -hmm. people called him a liar people called him so many vile vulgar words mm -hmm. and then a month later friend says the same thing mm -hmm. and they haven't had anything like yeah there was some little like chatter here there mm -hmm. but today after saying made this statement mm -hmm. this unclear statement mm -hmm. like there was chatter everywhere and people calling calling him a cloud chaser people calling him like Mm -hmm. all sorts of words that i can't even point say please here. point please to the and point it's, it was just a like shit. i i don't use the word heartbreaking but it is not fair that every single time it's like just like the first time when he was the first person who came out to the video and said that he was the one in the video and didn't say that friend was the woman in the video people came after him mm -hmm. when friend did make the video and said she was the woman in the video mm -hmm. people didn't question her who the man was which video mm -hmm. she was talking mm -hmm. about like mm -hmm. people were 
same that she didn't have but the, but there might be actually a um, effect of her being more famous so people automatically thought that no matter what happens about her and around her they are gonna know in case of saying who was uh, even backed up by him pulling out of pu public life for several months uh, they expected i would say very it's very no ma machinations no manipulations in uh, behind the scenes that they they expected they might miss something about him that is more probably for them than missing something about Freen. That is how like, the way I would think about it in case you were not really one of those people who are uh, making the miles uh, rotating, you know? I have to apologize and all that and all that, but they didn't have the same grass for sale. Of course, you can have an interpretation that is mu much more stricter and much more... Uh, mm, How should I put it? Uh, much more of fights uh, evoking, provoking, maybe. Uh, you can have interpretation like that, but if you want a calmer, normal sort of one, I would say that people are just thinking about it on a very basic level where they would not, you know, notice something about Seng, especially if those fans are fans of Freen and Becky, but they absolutely didn't count on uh, missing anything about Freen. When he released the statement again, people didn't have grace for him, but people had grace for friend during the weekend. Now again, people don't have grace for him. People are coming after him, saying that he's trying to destroy two women's career, that he's using other people to destroy two women's career, and this and that, and this and that. Mm -hmm. Not forgetting that it's not only two women's career that is going to be destroyed, it's three people. Even though we know that the world is unfair on mostly women, but still, like we are getting to a point where by people, everyone is equally being called out mm -hmm. for their she, and like saying isn't going to like be able to like get off like easily, scot free. Like he's going to be affected in one way or another. Mm -hmm. And if you did notice, like even WeTV, like they didn't give like so much coverage of him on like their social media. Because of this, because they were afraid, like, if they did put too much about him, they were going to get, like, a lot of hate. Mm. So they actually, like, put very little images of him. So it is affecting, because at the end of the day, they're not selling him as much as they wanted to, or mm. as much as they want to, True. because they're afraid of the repercussions that they would get. So, mm. like, I am going to put, like, different translations. Like, no matter which company we would speak about, if it would be Idol Factory, if it would be VTV, they would probably expect... Uh, from him to earn him way more money than he does but it's kind of normal situation in case of artists that companies that hire them to do the job are expecting them to earn way more money than they actually do in reality so i wouldn't take it against him as well it's from different people i haven't found any video yet and by the time I post this video, because I'm probably going to post this video tomorrow, because I'm still giving myself time to see if I can find, like, the videos, English subtitle videos, word for word. And if I do find them, I'm going to post them here. But if I don't find them, please bear with me. And I ha I will put, like, different translations from different people. Mm -hmm. And you will see, like, <coughs> there are some minor, like, differences, mm -hmm. but not actually very big differences. Mm -hmm. Because these translations were made with different people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, different people, some of them are maybe F stands. Some of them are like mm -hmm. F solo stance. Some of them are. But, but like, if you don't have it verified, you don't know who is supporting who or who is uh, rooting for who. You just don't know. You only expect that in that sample of yours you have chosen, there are those type of people. But you don't know. You don't. You didn't verify that. So you still don't know. There might be most of them who translated it who are in favor of of Freen, who are in favor of Becky, who are in favor of Sang, whoever of them. You just don't know. But like friend Becky stands and some of them are like actually neutral. So I think I have either mm -hmm. two or three or four different translations. Not enough if you have uh, options, like five maybe options, who these people might be rooting for. Then if you don't verify, you just don't know what sample you have chosen. I'm not sure. I'm going to put them here so that you guys can mm -hmm. see what they talked about because some of them are like very few, few like words. So yeah. So you read and then make an opinion for yourself. So I am not sure if Idol Factory will now come out with a statement. But from everything that I did gather 
from this interview it's like friend you still please don't quote me this is my opinion these are my thoughts because mm. for how the how saying was beating around the bush i think that friend and saying mm. have a relationship or had a relationship mm-hmm. or are still having a relationship mm-hmm. but they are still like undecided whether to come out with it or not to come out with it because they have seen how like it has affected their work mm. so they don't actually want to put more damage to their work and they want like the, the, their work to take the forefront their talent to take the forefront and like their relationship this is definitely a possibility i'm not sure if it is like that but it is a possibility a valid one relationship to take the back end so i'm thinking that they are not going to come out with their relationship anytime soon mm. They are just going to like let people think what they think because it was so easy for him to say, yes, we are having a relationship. No, we are not having a relationship. Yes, we used to have a relationship. No, we are. Yes, we were getting to know each other. No, we are no longer going to get to know each other. Like there are so many words that he could have used that that were short than the tail he was putting around our necks. So actually, it is not like when someone is not clearly saying something, they are saying something. So the fact that he was not saying that they are in a relationship or they are not in a relationship, mm. he was actually saying they are in a relationship. Mm. So, because it's very easy to say a no than it is to say a yes. So that is for me. So, I don't know. There's also this thing of saying that there will be a 14-minute video released tomorrow. So, I am waiting on that video. I don't know the details of that video. I don't know if it's true or false. I don't know if it concerns friend on saying or not or Becky, but the rumors that have seen it's it's like it concerns friend and son so yeah we will see if it does come out or it does not come out and apparently it is going to come out in a different twitter account and not the becky e spirit account so again another video that i'm supposed to upload is like me uncovering the whole identity of becky e spirit so that video is also ca- going to come like either tomorrow or in a few days we will see about okay. it so wow, yes perfect. so now there is like another account which is threatening to like release the video and now there are like f stands f solo stands that have come out and said that the 14 minute video is fake because apparently the chinese fans pineapple cns have said that that video is fake that there is no 14 minute video again we know that the pineapple cns were the first people to be back blackmailed with the video so they might not necessarily know like the full length of the video because maybe the video that they were supposed to be given is different from the video that is going to be released so yeah so we'll see about it if anything happens i will let you guys know so if you haven't subscribed subscribe turn on the post notification give me a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye okay perfect so more content is coming and we are gonna be ready and here and prepared for it so stay tuned guys okay Reporter already asked for our relationship with Freen, how is it still saying? In fact, we talked about the lawsuit and in the uh, work part, the main focus was on work. We didn't update or develop anything. Reporter, it shows that the relationship between the two of them is still not clear. It is a relationship, uh, if you ask me, if it's clear, I think after the incident happened, we have come back to consider and got back to talking about everything that happened. And as I believe, uh, as I said before, both of us are focused on our work. We haven't talked about our relationship. Okay. Because he is now uh, indirectly confirming they have a relationship. That's not what we have before, by the way. Just saying. Okay, what do you think guys? What do you say about this? Let us know for now. Have a great day. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. And bye bye.